Hi, I'm Cynthia Schiller. Please like and subscribe. We're going to talk about some of the signs and symptoms of a narcissist, uh, kind of help us understand, look for some red flags. So narcissists often try to be first in whatever something is, whether it's the first to grab the food at the dinner table or, um, you know, first in line, first at hanging up the phone, uh, you know, uh, first uh, driving on the road where they need to be in front. Um, they're cutting people off. So they often will ridicule others um who who do the same thing so it's kind of like a double standard they, they'll get irritated by other people doing it but when they do it, it it's totally normal to them and uh they are extremely selfish um everything uh uh is theirs and that's what needs to be cared for but they can be really um not appreciative of your boundaries, taking care of your things, they're often really rude. So um, that's one of the signs uh, that you can look for how they handle other people. Because sometimes when we're in that love bombing stage, they fool us. So pay attention to how they treat uh, co workers or random strangers, people at the drive through um, waitresses, waiters. So they often uh, have a lack of integrity, they don't always pay people back. Some of them do, um, but that's usually uh, they'll do that um, while they know that they still need that supply. If they feel that you're not going to lend them money in the future, um, they'll often uh, hold on to that last amount of money instead of paying you back. They don't make good on it and move forward. So be cautious of that. Uh, I've lost a lot of money trying to help people out. They'll go back on their word, cancel plans. Um, so they... Uh, um, like to uh, be self-centered. So you'll often hear them say, I, me, mine, my, instead of uh, using we, um, like, uh, I don't know if, if uh, it's husband and wife and um, one might say, I bought a house today instead of we got our house today. Um, so that's a, a, another sign to see how much somebody uh, internalizes things to where it's about them. Often they can uh, feel entitled uh, during birthdays or holidays that, um, you know, they should get gifts or maybe special favors. And it'll often come, um, you know, where it's not reciprocated in the same way. So they are often the ones that like control over the finances. And um, sometimes they'll keep their finances separate. Um, uh, they will often just go ahead and buy large purchases without uh, discussing it with the spouse. Um, and they often don't like foresee, is, is that a good idea for this large purchase at this time? Uh, do we have the money for our mortgage? Is some, you know, does our child need braces? Things like that. They just don't care. They're sometimes impulsive. Uh, they pretend not to remember some things or they're just kind of spaced out and don't really listen. They just don't care what the other person is talking about. And they'll often uh you know not not remember things they are unappreciative uh, of gifts that they receive and uh they can complain about it like that's not what i wanted um instead of seeing it as a bonus any gift we get in life is a bonus we should always be thankful for it they often have communication problems they like to talk at people instead of with people so pay attention to how they talk to people um they often misunderstand things um they talk in circles they use those word salads and they can become highly defensive so when you're trying to talk to them sometimes uh it, it kind of doesn't make sense on why did they get so mad uh some of it's like some triggers from their past to where they uh have so much shame inside that they're um, always like on the defense. So to have a normal conversation with them, they're already on the defense. So they're they're um, about to spew out their their way of defending themselves, and it's just um, kind of like a flaw in their personality to where it's hard to have a normal conversation with them. That's often when they start lying or doing half truths. They can be extremely argumentative over little things. Um, for no reason. Uh, sometimes, you know, we get in arguments over things that make sense, but, you know, sometimes I just like to argue about, uh, like mine was upset that I turned the toothpaste the wrong way. <laughs> so it didn't have to be like, a, you know, call me in from the other room and, and point at it and cut me down. And, you know, I just read the back of the bottle and forgot to turn it 
the right way. So um, they often make mistakes, uh, excuses for the mistakes. So always see it as somebody else's fault. So they don't take accountability and they, uh, this is kind of interesting that they um, often include uh, insults and they pretend it's like a joke. So they can say something um, pretty hurtful, but they'll be like, uh, and, and they just want to like insult you, but they do it in a, in, um, you know, uh, a way that they can get away with it. Um, just like my daughter, um, when she was growing up, she was like, is, is this a swear word? And then she'd say a word and it's like, she just wanted to swear. <laughs> and that's, she was smart to know that she could get away with it that way. Um, but that's how they get away with their insults is they just, oh, it was just a joke. I just, just called you ugly. Like, come on. And, uh, but you know, uh, what do they say? 90% of sarcasm, uh, is truth and 10% just not. So they can uh, often go into full blown rages over the silliest little things. So they are easily, easily angered. And they just um, talk to talk down to bank tellers or service providers, customer service. They're not very patient a lot of times because everything's uh, centered around them. Um, they often uh, have people that they use uh, to do like anything, uh, you know, um, to, to like serve their needs and they don't return the favor. So they'll recruit kind of like personal assistance. Uh, they don't really have true friends. Um, you know, they might interact with people. Some of the grandiose, uh, have more friends than the vulnerable usually, um, uh, because, um, the vulnerable will play the pity party and um they, they they don't snap out of it and and you know the grandiose can be um a little bit more uh extroverted instead of introverted and they um often don't have you know really close family members uh it's kind of like they're estranged they've uh become so toxic that uh the relationships within their families have failed they're often very arrogant and that's a key thing to look out for. They think others are jealous of them and many other relationships just fall apart based on the way that they handle interactions with people. Um, there should be some give and take, you know, nobody wants to feel like they're invisible and that's kind of what they do after a while. Um, I know I, the relationships I was in with a narc, uh, you start feeling really lonely, even though you're around the person um, because they don't listen to what you're saying. Um, they don't have to agree with it, but they don't acknowledge it. And you just feel like you're invisible, especially with that future faking and fake promises and not knowing what's up and you just want to clarify it. It's almost like nothing you say um, gives you any peace of uh, comfort within this relationship. They often uh, will either have friends with benefits and um, they'll kind of disguise it as, oh, it's just a friend. It's just a friend. And mine did, uh, it's my sister, it's my sister. He started, uh, he ended up being with somebody else and it was like at, at the discard stage and cause we were off and on, off and on. And um, I guess uh, he had told her one time when I called that I was his sister and you know uh he couldn't admit like you know that's my ex or i'm still dating it was kind of in that transition um they're often serial cheaters they are serial cheaters so if you can comment below on uh what you guys think as far as the cheating um not all narcissists cheat depends on where some of this um abuse came from so some of them if they were sexually molested um or raped things like that uh, it, it can change them depending on who they are, uh, whether they uh, got like that Stockholm syndrome. Um, so either they totally shut down sexually, or that's when they feel that they get attention. So either they turn into sex addicts, which are why a lot of them are into porn, or uh, like pretty often extreme masturbation to where it's like an obsession. Um, because, you know, even if they have a partner, uh, you know, they're, they're going to have sex with them, but um, they, they're into the self gratification. So if you're coming home in a half hour, they don't want to wait for a half hour. So they just, just go off and do their own thing. And then they're not in the mood later. So they can be very confusing on, on 
a lot of different things, but those are just some uh, signs and symptoms uh, when it comes down to NPD, which is narcissistic personality disorder. So please like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any topics that you'd like talked about, and I will see you in the next video. Have a good day.